So how often have you spoken privately with a student who's being disruptive and the student has said, okay, I'll go back to class and I won't talk out anymore. Or, okay, I'll go back to class and I'm not going to laugh anymore. I'm going to be serious. And how often have those students returned to class and within minutes they've reverted back to those same behaviors? It's pretty common. It's common with all students to a certain extent because children and adolescents are still learning self-control. But it's a very different and more complex issue if the student it lacks executive function, has not developed those skills yet. For example, students with ADHD or students with a learning difference that has delayed the maturation of the prefrontal cortex, which is the center of self-regulation. For these students to say, okay, I'll go back to class and not talk anymore, is the equivalent of saying, okay, I'll go back to class and I'm gonna lift 300 pounds. Or I'll go back to class and I'm gonna build a car from scratch. They're not yet strong enough to do what they're promising. And to be honest, they may not have any idea how to do what they're promising. So what these students need is a really good coach, a teacher who will pull them aside and explicitly teach them those skills and strategies for regulating themselves. We can do that much for them, but that's only the beginning. The teacher can lay out the tools, but it's, it's completely the student's responsibility to determine which of those tools is going to work best for them and how they're going to implement those strategies in class and how they're going to even remember how to do those in class. Those responsibilities must remain with the student. So today we're going to talk about that balance, what that looks like where we coach and the students carry.